Today is World Cocktail Day, and we're about to take a trip with every sip as we learn a few global cocktail recipes. Richard Beltzer, head bartender at Monteverde, is here to share more. Thanks so much for being yes, here. Yes, no, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, of course. I love this. We're getting a little bit of a liquor lesson as we uh, yeah. try some cocktails. We're yeah. going to start in, in the UK, correct? Yes, we're going to start in the UK. You know, James Bond. Uh, oh, yes. yes. Yes, the very sleek, sophisticated, when you think like the Vesper. Mm -hmm. um, so the Vesper, of course, combining gin and vodka together. Mm. Okay. A little vermouth, so we either coke americana with a lay just to kind of give that like botanical herby quality to it. Okay. So I'm just add a little bit of ice. We already kind of made pre-made the drinks in the vessel there for you, okay. make it easier. But this great, this cocktail is great because it's it's sleek, it's it's tasty, it's not. But well, you're sweet. stirring. Yeah, we are yes. stirring the martini. Mm. Martini is meant to be stirred. Like that, if you shake vermouth, you kind of like end up like destroying some of those like really pretty botanical mm -hmm. yes. ingredients. So you want to be able to like keep it sophisticated. Okay. So why did James Bond always say shake in that stir? Exactly. You know, it's, and, and, you know I honestly thought like I was so curious about that but I think like they found out like he just loved his gin and vodka by itself. He never added vermouth. So. Oh, yeah. There we go. We learn something new every day. All right. Thank you for teaching no, us. No you're okay. And then so yeah this is a Vesper. It's just again pretty martini. All, honestly all it is is a little garnish with the lemon zest and we'll be able to enjoy this it. Is, you know? This is my kind of drink. Right? It is. Simple. This is, this is all, all you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. super simple. Clear and simple. I love how you did that. You you made sure that it got all, all over. <laughs> yeah, of course. May we in bond? Yes, of course. These oh, are okay. both for you. Yeah, no. Okay. One yeah. for Amy. Thank one you. One for Tanya. Ready for the weekend? Cheers. You didn't have one for you. Richard? Of course. Yeah, no, it's okay. And then we'll, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna Yum. So yeah, next I know it's not your thing. Yeah, all right. See, this one might be mine. Yeah, this yeah. is more her than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not a, a gin girl. Sure. So, but I think they told you that. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> See? I'm sorry. I guess I'm just like no, getting a bad rap here. Wait, but this you're good. Good. You're no. allowed to have your own taste. Okay, yeah. this right. is good. So this is the Negroni from okay. Italy. The okay. very like, quintessential mm -hmm. like Italian cocktail. Yep. So we're using Bar Hill um, Tomcat gin. What that is is, is gin Tom aged um, in new American oak barrels. Oh, so you're getting a little bit of that like if you like bourbon or if you like that like yep. woody kind of spicy quality, you're mm -hmm. getting a lot of that from the barrel. Okay. Uh, but Campari, sweet vermouth, Campari, a little bit of orange. Mm -hmm. It has that like nice like fresh quality oh, to it as well. Oh, he's them. got yeah. them pretty we got some, ice. Yeah, we've got some pretty ice, you know, it's... You gotta have pretty It makes all the difference. Yeah. The presentation. Well, and too, you know, you, it's summer, it's nice outside. You want your cocktail to like taste great the whole way. So yeah. you want to be able to like really enjoy that drink. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. Ice. Yeah, so pretty. Yeah, of course. And again, we're doing some more. Uh, is this one, I'm guessing this one is garnished with an orange. Yes, yeah, yeah. So like Campari itself has that like, already like bitter orange quality to it. So mm -hmm. it's like super easy to kind of really be fresh. Um, you have that like bitter like strawberry almost too. You have a little mm -hmm. bit of fruit in that as well. So it's really easy to just like you try and uh, pour one a little bigger than the other. That's but, you know, okay. That's okay. Sometimes, you know, you said you like this one. Yeah. Okay. So, so that big one's mine. Yeah, that's yeah. all you girl. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, love how he does that. I know. And what does that do? So zesting, what you do is you're pulling away the oils from the fruit, and mm -hmm. so you'll be able to like, aromatically, if you smell it, you'll be able to really get the like citrus smell. You probably even mm -hmm. smell it in the room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, so lastly, okay. the like most, the, the, the star of the show, the bee's knees. The bee's, bee's knees. knees. So bee's knees comes from France, traditionally made with cognac, mm -hmm. but now, you know, definitely more of like a modern cocktail made with gin. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Bar Hill doing some great stuff with honey. The whole branding behind Bar Hill is honey. So like the um, the the gin and the vodka started by a beekeeper. Yes. And then, you know, distilled with honey as well. So mm -hmm. you get all Very those like cool. flowery herbal qualities mm -hmm. you're already getting mm -hmm. from honey. So bees knees, lemon, honey, gin. Oh. That's all it is. That sounds like a nice that, little you know, hot toddy for when you're yeah, sick. It's, yeah, there exactly. You go. It's, it's fresh, <laughs> it's citrusy. And then the cool thing about Bar Hill as well is they're doing a, um, a really cool activation at the end of September. Mm -hmm. So for one week, it's called Bees Knees Week. Right? Okay. So what they're gonna do is for each um, Instagram post, uh, hashtagging uh, Bees Knees Week, mm -hmm. as well as Bar Hill Gin, they're going to plant 10, a 10 square feet of pollinating um, like floor. So what oh, they're gonna do is be able for, for the, the bees bee. to thrive, yes. right? Yes. Well, we yes. need bees. I mean, we, we need bees. We need bees. We need to save the bees. We need to save the bees. Yeah. Yes. 
All right. Yeah. And, and so tell us about Mata Verde real yeah, quickly. Yeah, of course. Well. So where I work at, Italian restaurant in the West Loop. Mm -hmm. um, Chef Sarah, she came from mm -hmm. Spiaggia. Mm -hmm. Very motivated, very wanting to like push the envelope for mm -hmm. food and drink. Mm -hmm. And so it's an, kind of in a neighborhood setting, so it's it's more to be able to like really come for the food, really enjoy the drinks, but just to have that very like comforting setting, you know? I right? love that, yeah. yeah. That's really cute. Now this one we're shaking. Yeah, this, this one, one we're shaking. shaking. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. And why did you shake this one specifically? Yeah, so you Shaking, of course, like with the citrus and the honey. Yeah. If you want to make it bread, or you want to like envelop the flavor. Okay. So like that, shaking it kind of like opens all that stuff up. Yeah. Gives it like cool temperature as well, but mm -hmm. you're kind of like breaking down those ingredients. So many of these things completely lost on me yeah. until you try it and you're like, oh, now I get yes. it. Yes. You, 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 yeah. you, wouldn't you say your palate has been more refined since, since we, we've yes. been doing this show? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 100%. People think we all we do is drink. We learn. We learn. We're drinking. People. Yes. Every single and right day. now we're getting some knees, knees. Yeah. yeah Barhill.com is where you can learn more about the liquors itself. Mm -hmm. And Monteverde is where you can try more cocktails. Yes, of course. And please. the delicious food. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you. No, All right. This Thank one looks so just like mine. I know. This one's going to love this one. Ah! Mm. Winner! Winner, winner, chicken yeah. dinner. Now, right. Tanya, all over for the weekend, mm. for sure. Thank you so much yeah, for no, being thank here. You so thank much. you so much. We appreciate it. Yeah.